Hey guys, it's Finn. I'm doing Card Infinite Warfare and I couldn't be more excited. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, uh, favorite, and we'll get right into this shit. I cannot be bothered with this shit right now! Alright. And... Multiplayer. Okay, it has to load some stuff. That's understandable, it actually did take quite a while to install and all that shit, so... Yeah, it's understandable, it's just to wait a while, I mean, we have been so anxiously wa waiting for... Uh, for an entire... This has been in... This has been three years in the making, hasn't it? Wow! Hang in there guys, it'll start real soon. <laughs> uh, these modern games. They had to load up every now and then. You know, you understand, right? Don't go anywhere. Please. It'll start, it'll start, trust me. I can't whistle for shit. Yeah. Are we about done here? Seems that way. Oh yes. Come on. Oh come on! Okay, finally. Oh. Did you see that? The option to play Modern Warfare just fucking <laughs> disappeared. But at least I had a chance to play it one or two times before it did, so you know, whatever.
I did pay $20 extra to play Modern Warfare, but who cares, the sequel is always better than the prequel, right? Now we're gonna hop onto some Team Deathmatch to kind of feel the surface here and you know, to learn what we're dealing with here. Now, I actually tried to get this game the day before the official release date, you know, I had pre-ordered the game at my local game store, and I went just chilling there the day before the release of this game, and I saw one of these guys just stacking piles of copies of um, Infinite Warfare at the back, you know, putting them away for the uh, release date tomorrow or the following day. So I obviously asked if I could just have my copy like right then and there because I really couldn't be bothered coming back like tomorrow. And can you believe this fucker? He just said, I'm sorry, we cannot do that. Like I promised him that I was not gonna play Infinite Warfare before its release and that I was only going to play COD for a little. But they were like, no, no, we're not gonna give you the game yet. Like, don't get me wrong. As a law student, I'm perfectly aware that they're legally bound to not to sell copies of the game before the release date, but still, like, <laughs> what the fuck? I actually wrote this Facebook post about it, and it went pretty viral, and people really sympathized with me, so obviously I'm gonna boycott that store from now on. Now, where was I? Oh, look at that! My first kill. Wow. Now, some of you might be asking, but Finn, if you're gonna boycott that game store, how are you gonna upload footage of new games in your channel? Easy stupid, I just make my old games. I've looked into it quite a bit and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. I already have this good idea for a game that I actually saw in my dream. I really think that it has the potential to be like the new best indie game of the year. Originally I wasn't thinking of sharing my idea for a game since I want to protect my intellectual property But since all of my subscribers are decent people and, and I don't have that many subscribers to begin with I think I can shed some light on my game idea for you But the main character of the game attends this party that's just full of people alright And the party is not that formal but it's not completely out of the zoo student party either if you know what I mean it's an easygoing social event, everyone's having a good time. Basically a student reunion type of thing, you know what I mean? But then, then there are these... And here's the kicker. For some reason, your character is... And just when you thought that things couldn't get any worse, Keemstar all of a sudden appears and So that's my idea for a game in a nutshell. I'll be working on that in the future. Maybe. Get owned motherfucker SMGs for the win and here we go with the cluster grenade or some Ah Damn it. Oh <laughs> You guys might be wondering why I'm dressed so formally here. Wow, look at this claw thing, it's actually pretty good. In fact, I can already see myself bitching at Activision that they should nerf it immediately, like, what the hell is wrong with you? I understand that some of you guys might feel inferior when you watch me play, but I can assure you that it's entirely reasonable. I have played this game for almost a decade, so I have really mastered the mechanics and the movement system by now. Oh, 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 oh shoot. Apologies guys, but I really need to get serious for a moment because there's something that I just have to share with you guys. It's about something that went down in my life just now. You see, I recently started getting these weird symptoms in my body that could have indicated a serious health issue. And I'm the kind of guy that really freaks out every time something might be wrong in my health. So I went to the doctor expecting the worst, but then the doctor told me, Oh, don't worry, that's nothing. You're not in pain and you don't have any other symptoms, it should go away by itself. Pretty much everyone experiences this once during their life. And I was so relieved. My point is, it's during those times when you think that something might be terribly wrong in your body and then it turns out that it's nothing, you really, really start valuing your life. You will never be more grateful of being alive than during those moments. Okay, also, oh, oh god, this piece of shit moment is to fuck my life! Okay, so I think I already know enough about this game to give my final verdict, so let's just do this. First of all, the guns in this game are all terrible. Then, um, 
I really hate the map designs. The spawn system is horrible. And the movement system is an insult. And the graphics suck. But still, I'm gonna give this game a solid 8 out of 10 with a white privilege seal of approval because we need to give the devil his due. This game, the graphics look amazing. And I really, really love the map designs. And the movement system just feels fluid and comfortable. And I really like what they did with the guns in this game. And for a just released FPS, the spawn system is really not that bad. So there you go. Go buy it. It's pretty sick. This video was not sponsored by Call of Duty. Okay, this is pretty tight. We might win. Oh, and we didn't. Well, you can't always win. What you gonna do? Okay, so here's the winning team, and it seems that their leader is German. That's fair, nothing bad has ever come out of German leaders. So that was my first game of Infinite Warfare, with a few more to come, and with my uploading schedule, I should be able to upload like two more videos by the end of the year? Ah, <laughs> that's way too optimistic. See you next year. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.